what is the best thing and the worst thing about uh, playing in Cholet, about the city itself? The best thing is probably to have the the chance and opportunity to compete in uh, Champions League and against the uh, high level good quality teams in the Lithuanian league in front of uh, great people in Chalet and a nice arena um, that's a lot of good things right there <laughs> and then bad things it's difficult when I'm trying to be a positive guy but uh, maybe that there's no sea I like the water I like nature that's a little tough maybe <laughs> So during uh, uh, your free days, you you can go to Klaipeda to Polanga near the sea. Oh, there's a sea near. Yeah, it's nearby. like hundred kilometers or something. You see, that's not near. That's well. That's a long drive, isn't it? During a free day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what do you remember from from your time in Kadaini in 2013? How was it? I remember the 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 gym was different from now because it was a school or thing, a smaller arena. I stayed at a, a fine hotel, ate a lot of soup, <laughs> and um, it was a it was a it was a different time. I was a different guy, you know, a different player. Um, so it was it was a rough start of my of my career, you know. I just turned, I think, 21, and it was a little bit. I was I was not ready for the big stage. Let's say that so. It was it was a little hard on me getting getting fired there, but um, it matured me, it, it developed me, and, and now I'm here again. <laughs> Did you make any uh, long-lasting uh, friendships uh, during that time? Yeah, I had a I had a guy Tony Bishop who played with me on that team. Me and him, we still talk time to times, you know. And um, yeah, I remember there was a guy called Paulius, I think, at that time who also recently played in Denmark, actually, in one of our clubs there. So I saw him a few years ago while I played with the national team. So, you know, the basketball world is small, so we always stay in touch and connect. And uh, one of the teammates I had, I also met previous season while I was in Alicante in Spain, playing there. He was on an opposite team. So it was pretty funny to see some of the same guys, you know, that I played with years ago. Sorry to interrupt, but uh, don't forget to subscribe to BetSafe LKL TV. Let's go. Uh, what's the first uh, the first thing that pops in your mind when I say Lithuanian basketball? Serious. <laughs> okay. Why? Because it's a basketball nation, and you guys uh, you're serious. You're dedicated to what you do here. It's like uh, like religion, like I said before, and uh, this is uh, this is how I see it. It's serious and it's uh, it's important here. Yeah. Probably Lithuania is painfully connected to Denmark because of that uh, famous quali qualifiers yeah. games. Two of them. One of them came uh, in your favor, and one of them in Lithuanian. Uh, how painful was it? Uh, it was very tough losing that game by I was think it was one point actually, huh? Very tough because we could have won it. It was down to the small uh, marginals and uh, it was it was very hard afterwards. That game it took some time to get over it, you know, to yeah move on and and take that that loss. We could have been in the Eurobasket that's playing right now and knowing that is difficult because it's not every day that's a Eurobasket and the chance to qualificate and. We, I don't think we've been, or we haven't been that close before. So it meant a lot to me as a player, but also to Danish basketball and the other guys in the team for sure. And, uh, but that's the uh, that's the sport, and that's how it is. Uh, we we lose, we get better, we move forward, and uh, yeah, we learn. Was there any type of uh, um, hype surrounding the uh, Danish uh, national team before? Uh, the, the last game against Lithuania? There was there was a good amount of hype I would say, you know, we for me as a player it was difficult to I was not maybe that much into the hype. I was just more focused being there in the bubble, uh focusing on the game and 
Yeah, because it was a different time with the corona there, you know, the focus, we all thought all the players, all the teams were together, surrounded in the bubble, couldn't go out and focus was right there at that time, that spot, but um, for sure there was a lot of hype, there was a lot of expectations, you know, and we were right there, so the energy was <laughs> at its highest, let's say that. Uh, what basketball-related wish do you still want to fulfill in your career? Maybe maybe qualifying actually for, for one of the tournaments with the team? Personal wishes for me in my career? Yeah, perhaps personal. I think I would have some wishes, you know, one of them will obviously be quali qualifying to Eurobasket again. Um, and another one would be playing on the highest level in Europe, and that would be Euroleague. I know I have the body, I know I have the skill, you know, I just need to put the right uh, effort and consistency throughout the season and, and my games. It's pretty simple. Okay, thank you. Hello, don't forget to subscribe to BetSafe LKL TV.